Hi, my name is Fraser and welcome to Graphic Card Repairs. So today we have this MSI RTX Gaming X Trio uh, 3070 and if you can see that the, the, the seal is still intact. Okay, so the problem with this card is that uh, it doesn't give out any display through the HDMI port. Okay, so the customer just gave it to me saying that there's no display, but uh, I've already tested this card on the bench and I found that the HDMI port is not working. Okay, so let me take the cooler off. So the cooler is, is out and uh, let me show it to you under the microscope. So the board looks pretty clean, uh, which is a good sign. Uh, let's take a look under the microscope. Okay, so you can take a look here. Uh, I can see that there are some bent pins and uh, this is a really bad thing to happen. So it could be it could be that uh, it's the cable that destroyed the HDMI port, uh, but this cannot be straightened out. So we will have to replace this HDMI port. So I've put on some standoffs and uh, let's start. Okay, so looks like uh, I ripped off a couple of pads and uh, I may have to put in some wires in there because I don't have uh, pads that long. Uh, so I will have to fix this thing. So let's begin with the repair.
Okay, so the wires are in place. Uh, let's uh, check the alignment of the connector. It looks like it's slightly off. Let's try and make sure that uh, we are completely aligned. Let's take a look from a different angle. Okay, it looks like we are pretty straight. Uh, let's try and solder this thing now. So I've uh, extended uh, the standoff so that you know I can put my uh, hot air uh, nozzle underneath and uh, heat it up. So you know I can try and capture the same thing in the camera. Uh, otherwise, I'll have to keep it on the edge of the table. Okay, so the port has been installed. Now let's take a look and uh, test and check if all our connections are proper. Uh, we'll start a diode check and make sure that uh, all the contacts are uh, in line or are connected to the PCB. Okay, so let's align. Okay, before I do that, let me straighten out my uh, multimeter so that it's visible. Okay, starting off with the diode readings. Oh, before that, let me switch over to the microscope. So you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is make sure that all our data lines and the rest of the connections are proper. So let's start off. So pin 20 is ground, so that's fine. We are starting off with the data lines, pin 1, pin 2, pin 3, pin 4 is fine, pin 5 is ground, pin 6, pin 7, pin 8 is ground, pin 9 okay, pin 10, pin 11 is ground, 12 good, 13 and 14 are not connected, so they are open, they will be open line. Uh, Pin 15 is good, 16 is good, 17 is ground, and 18 is connected. So 19 is no connect, so uh, it's fine. Okay, so it's time to test uh, on the test bench and uh, make sure that it connects. Okay, the card is on the test bench. Let's boot it up and let's see if we get a picture. Okay, there you go, we have a picture. So I'll quickly turn this off and install the cooler. The cooler has been installed and uh, I'm going to boot into Windows. So there are some HDMI cables that 
can really damage your port so make sure that whenever you're making a purchase for uh, HDMI cable make sure that the cable is of good quality uh, there are some HDMI cables that are really tight uh, and really aggressive I'm not too sure what exactly you know, probably they might be having a bend inside or I, I'm not too sure so my advice is buy good HDMI uh, cables quality ones it need not be expensive but uh, if you know for sure that it works well uh, go for it let me cancel this out okay so uh, let's check and see if our drive is okay so there was uh, no error with any memory as such, but I don't need to really stress this card out. Uh, it's just that it had a problem with the port and uh, that has been replaced. Uh, the rest of the card is absolutely fine. So you can see that, uh, you know, the drivers are installed all okay. No problem with that. Um, I'll just open up GPU Z and make sure that all the sensors are open and running and showing me the information that it should. So the sensors look fine. I'll just run Heavens for a small test, uh, probably just for about 10 or 15 minutes, and that should be uh, it for this particular card. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. And uh, don't forget to comment. I do make sure that I reply to almost every comment that's posted on my videos. So uh, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye for now. Cheers.